David too is famous for his devastating power. Getting colder. That's, that's, that's his chin right there, you know. And soon Monty Barrett will be in his sights. So once I got my right hand in the right glove, I tried to grasp an idea of where to is at. I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. Um, you know, training is, is uh, starting to pick up and things are going really well. Your, your passion's been questioned in the past. Is, is your heart still in it? Is that... I think it's not just my heart. It's, it's uh, my heart, my soul, my mind. You know, it's, it's my whole being. It's called redemption. What, what, what are you redeeming? Well, he's the, the gentleman that have um, first one to put me in my backside, apart from my mum. Uh, thanks, mum. But, um, you know, uh, for me, the approach for this fight is, is my last fight. If you lose this fight, will you get back in the ring again, or will you put the gloves away? I will have to wait and see. Um, very upbeat for this fight, I'm very confident for this fight, training pretty hard for this fight, but there's always the if, there's always the if. Questions right. aside, these gloves weren't just decorations. Nice. You've never done this before? No. You're kidding me. <laughs> sign them up, sign them up. So when you do this, when you're practicing, what are you envisaging? Well, visualize respectfully of brother Monty Barrett, visualizing his body, visualizing him on the canvas. So come August 13th, it won't be my eyes in the firing line, it'll be Monty Barrett's. Ashley Tulloch, Sports Tonight. The publicity machine has dubbed it the redemption bout. It's the rematch between heavyweight boxer David Tua and Monty Barrett. The American who lays claim to being the only professional in history to knock down the Kiwi. But as Craig Stanaway explains, the promoters might have got it wrong. If we're brutally honest, these media sessions are sometimes complete circuses. The athletes involved participate half-heartedly. It's all a bit of a joke. But not since the Shane Cameron fight two years ago has David Tua looked this focused in a staged training session two weeks out from a big fight. And there's an obvious reason why. Tua has revealed a win potentially is a giant step towards his number one goal, getting a deposit for a house for his wife and kids. Well, that would be a dream control, wouldn't it? Broke, living in his gym, Tua maintains this could be his last fight if he loses. And myself, as, as a husband and a father and a family man, that's what we, you know, that, that's, that's a very important goal for us, is to have a home and a family for the kids. Some of it's a, it's a simple goal, but some of it's, it's everything as well. But this fight is no longer just about redemption for Tua after his knockdown. It's his reputation as a credible fighter in the eyes of the international boxing community that's really at stake. In a nutshell, what do you have to do in this fight? Win. Any way possible or...? Win. He literally can't afford to lose. Craig Stanaway, One News.